Okay, so here's another related rates problem. Let's say a guy is pulling a ladder away from a wall. Um, let's just switch colors here, and uh, black. And so we have a ladder leaning up against a wall. And let's say we got this guy pulling it away. He's pulling it this way. So uh, some things we need to know is how fast is he pulling it away? How long is it? Um, so let's just give some numbers here. Let's say that the ladder is five meters long, and let's say he's pulling it away at, let's say, five meters per minute. He's going pretty slow. But regardless, uh, we want to find out how fast the ladder is falling down the wall here when he's at, let's say, uh, four meters away from the wall. He's at four, okay? So what we need to do is we need to find out uh, what this, what the height will be here when he's four meters away. So if we use Pythagoras theorem, we know that y squared plus x squared uh, is gonna be equal to five squared. And if we substitute in our values, we have y squared plus uh, four squared, because he's four meters away, is equal to five squared, and y squared will be equal to uh, 25 minus 16, 16, which is equal to nine. And so y, uh, y is gonna be equal to three. Uh, it's not plus or minus three, because it's just in this case, the height, what we'll say is positive 3, because up is the positive direction. We'll say that. Positive is up. So this is positive 3. Okay, so now what we have to do is we know that this height is now 3. And what we want to do is we want to differentiate uh, this equation here so we can find the rate of change that it's falling. Now, to do that, we want to differentiate this part. So we'll go down here and we find that it is y squared, uh, to differentiate that is going to be 2y times oops, dy dt plus uh, x squared, when we differentiate that, is going to be 2x times dx dt dx D, D, there we go. Uh, and this is going to be equal to zero because the derivative of a constant is zero. Now what we can do is we can divide both sides of the equation by two right away and just cancel out those twos. Zero divided by two, still zero. It's all good. Now we're going to substitute in the values that we do have. Uh, we do know that y is equal to three at this point. We still are looking for dy dt. dy dt plus we know that x is equal to 4 and we know that the rate of change in x is constant it is 5 meters per minute so 4 times 5 and this is going to be equal to 0 still so if we rearrange this we'll find that uh, dy dt dt is equal to 20 uh, sorry negative 20 over 3. Or if this is roughly uh, uh, negative 6.66 repeating meters per minute. And this negative, uh, because we indicated that positive is the upwards direction, this means that this is how fast it's falling. It's falling 20 over 3 meters per minute in the downward direction. That's what that negative here indicates.